All right, guys, today we have here the 2018 BMW M6 Grand Coupe, guys. This isn't the coupe, very aggressive front end. This is one of the best four-door sedans that you can get on the market now, in my opinion. I believe they're starting around 40, 50,000, 40 or $50,000, maybe even $60,000 now that they're kind of old or whatever it is like that. You have those deep dish wheels and that wide girthiness on the wheels as well. You don't see how wide those wheels are. Then coming to the rear, I believe these are even wider. The car is a little wet. It just came out the wash. M performance wheels, M performance brake calipers, have that M6 with the um, side marker light indicator, or whatever it is like that. And this spec is incredible. As you all can see, the car is a little wet, like I said, but you see all of that carbon on the wing, whatever it is like that. Dual pipes on both sides. And this one does have the M Performance exhaust and they have it covered with carbon fiber as well. Carbon fiber diffuser at the bottom, guys. Um, I mean, this car is just great. This is your camera right here. If you would like to pop the trunk or whatever it is like that as well. But just take a look at it, guys take a good look at it guys this is the 2018 bmw m6 have that carbon all on the roof exposed these do not come with sunroofs i believe they do not come with sunroofs because most m cars i believe it just comes with the carbon roof but let's start off with the key fob and here's the key fob right here guys they have it taped up but lock it and if you like to unlock it, just press that unlock button. This one does have the smart access feature where you can lock it with the ridge. Then walk up to a key fob in your pocket and she's gonna open up for you guys. This one does have the white interior, which is very, very nice. Look kind of bluish in person. You approach with that M6 as soon as you step in. You don't really have those sporty brake pedals, but you have the sporty footstep pedal or whatever it is like that you have the carbon all on the door trim you have that white again on the door now let's go ahead and hop in guys you have all of the carbon or your dashboard carbon all right here by the center console and i just love this spec so much but foot on the brake pedal key fobs in my pocket i'm gonna hit start stop and she and she's gonna fire right up guys now if you want to modify it or anything like that you would obviously go over here. That's gonna change your engine speed. And you sit up here, as you see Sport Plus, as you see suspension, you can change your suspension to Sport Plus steering wheel, giving your steering wheel a tighter feel if you're on the track or whatever it is like that. You just wanna get on it guys. And you can always save that memory so you don't have to keep on clicking all these buttons with memory one or memory two. If you like to put it in memory two is just for maybe if you want to slap it into comfort really quick and memory one is probably if you want to put it in the sport you have all of your um, cruise control options right here um phone settings um speaker commands volume up volume down you have your downshift and upshift paddles right here as well you have that blue on blue and red stitching guys with the m right down at the bottom um, this car is just great. Check out the roof. As you all can see, it has that deep white line with the nice Alcantara on the roof. That's a very, very nice touch. And one thing I love, you see all of the windows, guys. You see all of the windows. Now I just hit this button right here and hold it. And the curtains is gonna pop up for you guys. And it does it automatically. I like how the center console, whatever it is like that, just glides right into the back seat. And let's move on to the back seat, guys. You have all of your camera settings right here with your two side um, cameras right there. And you have your, oh, I thought that was, I thought that was, well, I believe these are the two side settings. And a lot of people don't really know how to work this. I'm gonna show you all really quick. Um, this is very neat. And, I, and one reason why I like it because it's so complicated and nobody can't just steal your car or anything like that. But over and up is going to be for your reverse camera. And that's the camera I was looking for. That's your reverse camera, guys. Then over 
and then that's neutral click it over again and that's into drive guys but we're going to just put the park on and this is your park button it doesn't have an actual park button for those of you that's probably wondering so where's the park if we have downshift and upshift where well, it doesn't actually have a park button so you just put on that e-brake guys and i didn't even go over this but i like how aluminum this is and also this right here it's a lot of things that i didn't cover and my apologies this is how aggressive your car will shift for you now look at these toggles right here guys i'm going to click basically this down button and that's how aggressive you don't want it to shift but if you do want it to shift aggressively mid you're going to just go in the middle then go fully max and this thing is going to just throw you back in your seat guys 200 on the dash or whatever it is like that focus for me as you all can see 200 on the dash it is it does have lane assist on so if you're um probably sleepy or whatever and you're dozing off and the steering wheel in your car is going another lane which what what's going to happen is your car is going to basically correct you guys um and that's going to wrap it up for the front now let's move on to the back and i'll show you all the back guys it's a tight fit kind of getting in with the slope roof but i'm sure you all will be okay as you all can see you have that grand coupe right there you have those nice nice gorgeous white seats i'm talking about these things look so so gorgeous dual zone climate for both passengers in the rear if you would like to be cold you can be cold if they would like to be hot they can be hot guys you have the m attention to detail right there on the um rear seat holding that down you have cup holders right here and you have extra storage space right here you have that alcantara up there as well like i said very tight roofing but i'm probably five nine and i fit pretty good back here guys i mean just look at the leg space i like that black with the white in the center that's real neat you have that carbon again but um i believe that's going to wrap up today's review this is the 2018 bmw m6 guys um if you all enjoyed it please like please subscribe please comment anything that i missed but this car is just gorgeous guys and please feel free to um give me comments down in the description below on which cars i should do next but as far as that, I hope all of you have a good day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.